In this video, I'm going to show you how to change a particular image on this particular PowerPoint without disrupting the flow of your animated panel. And what you see here on this particular slide is that we have the numbering that is revealed right here that represents the order of your animation panel and you can see that not only using this particular format in terms of the numbers that are shown but also you can click on animation panel and we can see specifically how it is structured it means that this here is going to be done alongside this at the same relative time and then on the next click we got to have this that is going to be done and this here final click is going to be animated and press play by clicking on this star here or you click on play from the beginning you have the following result like this now the goal is how we're going to for example pick this and change the image without disrupting this particular animation panel and now for you to do this please don't do this way because it is time exhausting let's say for example the time exhausting way will be you go to insert go to picture this device and for example if you think that this particular image best represents that particular change then you click on insert and then you have this and then you have to rearrange the animation in such a way that you have the proper type of animation that is for number two if you click on that it shows that it is zoom it means that in this case you have to perform the zoom and what happens now is that you have to reposition this by dragging it on the animation panel back here and then this here you actually delete it by putting it on none or you reposition this by arranging it to roughly the same size as the previous one and once you're done you go to the previous one that you don't want and you hit blank space and you are done please this is quite exhausting and tedious and this is time consuming you know for you to prevent this time wastage in this particular case all you have to do is just yes click on that specific image that you want to change once you click on it click right click on your specific image and you should see change picture once you click on change picture you have this couple of options right here that is shown right here and once you click on this device you'll be able to figure out which one best fits your specific change and to do this all you do is go to your computer files i think that this is the one that is of great importance here and uh, once you click on this we are going to have this no no not that one we're going to click on this perfect and you click on insert we have it now displayed right here what you recognize now is that not only are you maintaining the size of this particular previous image to the current image but most importantly you've maintained the animation and not only maintain the type of animation that you want but most importantly you've changed or you've maintained the specific timing of that particular animation so i hope you found this really informative in terms of this particular changing the image without disrupting the animation now let's press play and see the result so the result of before change is this and once you have this by clicking on play all you see the order at which it is done in terms of animation now let's look at how it is going to be different or pretty much maintain it when you change the image we have it right here and now we begin in terms of animation by going to animation and starting from scratch either it can be shown here because the formatting is changed but also clicking on these starting from here we see that yes it actually maintained the animation and so if I want to change this back to the one that is preferred we see that hmm let's look at the animation panel and see how this looks like really maintained start from the beginning and we have this also maintained right here other videos that i've done or other videos that you've seen me create in terms of using animation actually i take advantage really hard on these particular features another one also that might be of great help is in terms of changing the specific 
errors let's say for example you have this particular type of smart art that you've actually introduced and to do that all you do is go to smart art design and you have these actually options that will reflect the one that you want but then one interesting thing here is that there is error relationships that you want to change that means that instead of you having this style of arrow you want double headed arrows i know for you to do this all you do is the same thing that we talked about instead of you trying to go back to your specific shapes and then picking the double headed arrow like this and inserting it in or dragging and putting it in and then repositioning it and all this stuff instead of you doing this all you just do is you click on the specific arrow of your choice once you go there right click on that particular arrow of your choice and then go to change shape once you go to change shape you'll be able to have various diverse options in this case we have this right here and once we have that we have it not only in terms of its change being done but most importantly it actually repositions it in such a way that it actually works really well with the orientation in space so this is really fantastic to do if you don't want to do this change or you just do is hit on this arrow to recycle to go back to how it was before and you are good to go this is really fantastic as well to actually keep in mind i hope you found this really informative please hit the comment down below let me hear your thought about these particular change features not only in terms of change shape but also when you go to images and you want to change an image without disrupting disrupting their animation how what do you think about this particular tip do you think it is way faster than the previous one that i showed you or you think that it doesn't really matter in terms of your workflow see you all on the next one stay smart as always and believe in yourselves